In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the ultimate Y2K effect in After Effects. This is easily one of the coolest Y2K effects I ever made. And uh, yeah, real quick before we start, I just released my Fusion Presets pack where I literally combined all of my editing packs on my entire website to create the most ultimate VFX presets for music video editing. And the link is going to be in the description so you guys can easily go and check it out. Now let's start with the tutorial. So here we're in After Effects. I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing this ultimate Y2K effect on. And I'm using FHD with 24fps as my composition settings. And we're going to start off by adding a adjustment layer. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y to create the adjustment layer. And the first effect I'm going to be adding is called Unsharp Mask. And here I'm going to be increasing the amount here to 500 and then the radius to 6. And that's going to be creating this sharpen kind of look here as you guys can see. So this is the before and then after. Pretty pretty nice. After that I'm going to be adding hue and saturation. And here I'm going to be dragging down the saturation to minus 25. So we get this more black and white look to it. After that we're going to be adding Unsharp Mask once again. Here's the amount to 150 and then the radius to 5 this time to get another touch of sharpen on the edges here, which looks pretty, pretty clean. After that, we're going to be adding Glint Rainbow. And it's going to look something like this here. I'm going to set the brightness to 0 0.5, so it's not going to be too bright. And Threshold to 0 0.75, and then keep the rest of the settings at default. After that, I'm going to be adding 4 color gradients to add some color to this. And I'm going to be going with a bright blue so something like this here then copy it to the other color positions then set the blending mode here to hue then i'm gonna set the opacity to 75 percent so we get this blue kind of look here looks super super nice in my opinion now for the glow here, i'm going to be adding deep glow and here i'm going to be changing the glow mode to lens iris and then i'm gonna set the exposure to 0.5 after that open up input Set the threshold to 90% and then the threshold smooth here to 20%. So now when we play it, we get this cool look here. Looks very, very nice. After that, to get the contrast up here, I'm going to be adding curves. So I'm going to be making this kind of S shape here on the graph. And this is going to be increasing the contrast. So now it's going to look a lot better. And after that, for a small touch, we're going to be adding flicker. I'm going to set the random color amplitude to 0 0.1. Other than that, keep the rest at default. So a small flickering touch there. After that, on a sharp mask again. And this is to get a little bit more sharpen on the actual uh, glitter glint here. So set the amount to 250, and then the radius to 2. So it's going to look something like this. This is the before and after. Now you guys can see, get a little bit more sharpen look on the glitter and the uh, hair. After that, add fast box blur. And then I'm going to set the radius to 2. So it's going to be a little bit blurred now. And then we're going to be adding JPEG damage. And here I'm going to increase the quality a little bit to 0 0.15, like that. And then I'm going to set the rest factor at 4. It's going to look something like this. Really going to drag down the quality of this effect. Right now, already looks incredibly good. Really gets that, you know, Y2K feeling with the low quality combined with the sharpen, combined with the glowy glittering look here and then for the final touch here just add fast box blur increase the blur a little bit 1.5 it's going to look something like this if you want to you can add unsharp mask as well again the fourth one which is pretty crazy <laughs> but you can increase it a little bit 150 we can set the amount to then radius to two this is the before and after a small regain of the sharper look once again and it's going to look something like this here absolutely incredible y2k effect and uh, yeah this is by far the best y2k effect i have ever made so so good effect and to save it you just mark all of the effects here by pressing ctrl a and then go to animation save animation preset and you just name it ultimate y2k effect and then press save so now we can use it for another time. And a great part about my newly released Fusion Preset Pack is that it includes literally the best Y2K effects for music video editing. So now I'm quickly going to be showcasing some insane Y2K looks from the Fusion Preset Pack. So we can just make the adjustment layer invisible, 
create a new adjustment layer, open up animation presets, user presets, fusion presets, Y2K fusions. And here we could start off by adding the Metro tape drag and drop. And now when we play, it's going to look something like this here. Insanely cool Y2K effect. Now I'll create another adjustment layer. Here I could drag on the lost Y2K signal tape drag and drop. And now when we play it, it's going to look something like this absolutely amazing Y2K effect here. Now I can show one last one, create a new adjustment layer. And here I could drag on the fire tape drag and drop. And when we play it, it's going to look something like this super, super cool fire touch to a whole like VHS tape looks super, super cool. And these were literally just three presets out of over 60 presets included in the fusion preset pack. So, I mean, these were just the fusion ones. We can open up grunge ones. You have all of these presets here and then CRT ones, all of these here insanely many high quality presets and a fusion preset pack is genuinely the most premium pack i have ever created so the link to the fusion preset pack is going to be in the description down below so you guys can easily go and check it out other than that thank you guys for watching this tutorial take care and have a nice day